Did you know this is probably the most viewed image of the world? Seen by over a billion people since it became Windows XP's desktop image in 2001. Was it photoshopped or is there really such a place out there? And if so, who took it? These questions led us into a beautiful green valley somewhere north of San Francisco. Hey guys, welcome to the land of bliss. I am Chuck O'Rear, also known as Charles O'Rear. We are in Napa Valley, north of San Francisco Bay, very near the place where the great famous bliss photograph was made. There's a time of the year here in north of San Francisco after we get the rains and during the rains, the grasses turn green. And I know the chances of finding these beautiful hillsides are really good. I'm gonna be more prepared. I'm gonna be more alert. I'm gonna be more focused and paying attention to what might happen. So every Friday afternoon, I would go to visit my girlfriend near San Francisco on this particular day in January, while driving this winding little, what I call a country road, there was, my God, the grass is perfect. It's green, the sun is out, there's some clouds. I kind of think that maybe it wasn't as perfect as when I made the photograph. It could have been no clouds. And by the time I parked, by the time I set my camera up, the clouds might have come in because everything changed so quickly at that point. So now I get the camera ready and here come the clouds and I make a frame and I crank to the next one, which we don't do in digital anymore. We just push it and it takes care of everything, right? We don't have to advance film. We don't have to crank the camera. Here comes the clouds. I'll take another one and here comes another one and here's another one. And now I've made four frames. Okay, fine. I think that was pretty nice. I'm gonna fold the camera up, tripod, get back in the truck and keep going. When it's on film, uh, what you see is what you get. There was, uh, there, there was nothing unusual. I used a film that had, a, that had more brilliant colors, the Fuji film at that time. And the lenses of the, of the RZ67 were, were just remarkable and the size of the camera and film together uh, made it, made the difference and I think helped the Bliss photograph stand out even more. I think if I had shot it with 35 millimeter, it would not have nearly the same effect. I have no idea what the engineers at Microsoft were looking for. I call them engineers. Was it an engineering staff? Was it a creative staff? I don't know. Whoever it was, uh, I'm only guessing. Were they looking for an image that was peaceful? Were they looking for an image that had no tension? When Microsoft decided they wanted to use this photograph, they were looking at a computer screen in about year 2000 or 2001. And the resolution probably was not that good. It was a CRT as opposed to a flat screen that we have today. The colors were probably not very good. When they selected that, then they said, okay, we want, we want to buy that. We want to own that and control it naturally, of course. So when they then went to Corbus, my agent, and said, we want this, and then that, the agent then contacted me and, and said, we need the original photograph. Uh, please send it to us. So we contacted the usual kinds of couriers like Federal Express and whoever else, and, and they said, well, what is the value of that? And I told them, and they said, no, we won't accept it. We tried two or three different ways to send it, and so I contacted Microsoft and said, we can't put the value on this that you put on it. They said, well, we're sending you a plane ticket and please bring it to us. And so I handed it to, um, I believe it might've been Corbus or maybe an attorney with Microsoft. And then it was a done deal. Here is the, here's the original and I'll sign the paper. Let's move on. I had no idea where it was gonna go. I suspect the engineers or anybody involved in building Windows XP had no idea that it would have the success it had. It is everywhere, as we all know. We see it in so many places. I've seen it in the Situation Room of the White House, maybe a news photograph, 
Well, of course, they have to erase all of the sensitive uh, information on the screens. Well, there's Windows XP. So yes, those people have to look at that every day, but they probably turn it off rather quickly. I've seen it in shots in the Kremlin where they would have interviews. I don't remember if it was with the uh, with Putin or whoever might have been in there, and there in the background was Windows XP. Uh, uh, it's, it's, it's around us. I have a theory that anybody now from age 15 on for the rest of their life will remember this photograph. So now I'm in secondary school, I'm 15 years old, I was on my computers at school, and I go on through college and I go on into the work world and now I'm 50 years old or I'm 70 years old and I see that image somewhere. I won't remember where I saw it, but I will remember it. Several years after XP came out, I got an email from, I believe it was from the engineering staff, if I remember right, and they had a contest going. And the contest was, we, we want to know where that photograph originated. Most of us think it was photoshopped. There's a group of us who also think that it was made not far from our headquarters here in Seattle, Washington, the headquarters of Microsoft. I wrote back and I said, you're all wrong. It was taken near my home, <clears throat> north of San Francisco. It's the real deal. It wasn't photoshopped. It, what you see is what you get. Um, so the road that goes past the scene where the Bliss photograph was made is actually one of the most dangerous roads in all of our area. There are more accidents there because the speed limit is fast, the road is winding, people are in a hurry, there's no side to pull off. There are more police patrolling that area of the highway almost almost more than maybe any highway in California, that particular spot. When I went down a couple of weeks ago to look at it again, I had to drive by, I had to go a couple of miles further, turn around and come back a couple of times before I could find a place to pull off, pull over that I thought was uh, reasonably safe. So when you, when you want to go by there, yeah, you, you sort of pick the spot at the, at the knoll at the top and then you could kind of work your way down a little bit to get the best view of the, of the hill. Are you gonna still try to do that today? Uh huh, okay. <laughs> well, the sun will be behind, so maybe it'll be more dramatic. The, the green will be greener, the blue, the sky will be bluer. XP is gonna go away. The photograph will not be seen as much as I've seen it in the last 12 and 13 years. Do I lose sleep over that? No. I think it's, been, it's had a wonderful ride. I would, I'm just pleased to see it out there. I'm thrilled to know that people have had pleasure from looking at that, from looking at a photograph that I made. And, and no, I won't be disappointed, I won't be sad, but I did call Microsoft and give them my phone number, hoping they would call so they would get another photograph for Windows 8. But the phone hasn't rang, I don't know what happened. That's what I was hoping for.